Hi guys, welcome to Sample of TV. Watch this video until the end so that you understand how to solve quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also like and comment the video. So let's say we have uh, x squared plus 5x minus 40 equal to 0 and you are asked to find x so the first thing that you must know you must know the quadratic form then after the quad knowing quadratic form then you must also know the quadratic formula quadratic form it says that a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to 0 and the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2a so when you know the quadratic form you must make sure that you indicate the value of a here we don't have a number automatically it's one the coefficient of x squared is one if there's no number because if you say one times x squared it will be just x squared and our b is positive 5 and our c is negative 14. <coughs> Now, what will be your first stage when you're working is you substitute these values on your formula. So, how are we going to substitute? It will be x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 5 squared minus 4. What is the value of a? It's 1. C, the value of c is 14. All over 2 times 1, which is the value of a. So I want you to understand something here. If your b is having a negative sign, it means it will be positive. Because already on the formula we have minus b. So if, let's say we're having minus 5 here. Minus, minus 5, your answer was going to be positive 5. Because negative times negative, it's positive. Minus times minus, it's plus. So here it will be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared is 25 then here 4 times 1 it's 4 or minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 then minus 4 times minus 14 it will be positive 50 positive 56 right because when you say 14 times 4 it's positive 56 right over 2 which will be equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 plus 56 is 81 over 2 which will be equal to remember because we'll be having two values the first one will take this positive sign and the second one will take the negative sign so it's minus 5 plus 9 which is root of 81 over 2 or minus 5 minus 9 over 2 which will be equal to minus 5 plus 9 it's 4 4 divided by 2 it's 2 or here negative 14 divided by 2 it's negative 7 so these are our values so this is how you use the quadratic formula to solve the quadratic equation so as i always tell you that each and every mathematical question can be proved so i'm going to prove this remember when i take this value which is two and i substitute it or when i put it in our original equation the right hand side must be equal to the left hand side also when i take this uh, other value so we are going to start with two now our original equation or our original quadratic equation is this one x squared plus 5x minus 14 equal to 0. Remember, our solutions were 2 or negative 7. So I'm going to start to prove using 2. If you put 2 here, it will be 2 squared plus 5 times 2 minus 14 must be equal to 0. 2 squared is 4 plus 10 minus 14 equal to 0. Here it will be 14 minus 14 must be equal to 0. 0 is equal to 0. Proved.
So I'm also going to substitute negative 7 in our original equation. When I substitute negative 7 as well, the right hand side must be equal to the left hand side. So negative 7 squared plus 5 negative 7 minus 14 must be equal to 0. Here it's 49 minus 35 minus 14 must be equal to 0. 49 minus 35 it's 14. 14 minus 14 must be equal to 0. 14 minus 14 is 0. 0 is equal to 0. Proved. I hope this question uh, and the solution has been beneficial to you. Simultaneously, the proofs also, I hope that you benefited from them. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are beneficial like this. Also, comment and like the video. Stay focused.